you guys loved the last affordable makeup video that I did all about Primark Beauty. So today I'm testing loads of e.l.f. makeup. Stay tuned. guys it's becky and welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me today um i upload every tuesday and thursday so i would love it if you would give me a little subscribe down below um I, my goal is to get to twenty thousand by the end of the year so i'd absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button it is free um, and we do loads on this channel from um lifestyle videos um loads of hauls food hauls clothes hauls um beauty videos all sorts all sorts of good stuff um so yeah and don't forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up and comment little comment i try i read all the comments and i do try to reply to as many as humanly possible um so you guys absolutely loved my primark dupe video so thank you for the recommendation for doing the video and also for watching the video um so i thought i would do an elf video i think we can all agree that elf is very very popular and is definitely one of the most affordable brands out there uh their prices have gone up quite considerably um i remember when elf stuff was like between a pound and three pounds um now stuff's really kind of like five pounds seven pound some stuff is over ten pounds but there's always like a free for two offer somewhere i went to super drug and they had free for two um, and their quality has gotten so much better so you're paying that little bit extra for a product that works a lot better i personally think um but first up, I do have some really exciting PR that I would love to share with you. And that is from The Ordinary. Oh my God, that's so cool. The Ordinary have gifted me um, these items. So um, they've gifted me four things. Um, the Ordinary Squay Line Cleanser. This is really nice. So this is like it melts into an oil. It's really cool. I've been using it to take my makeup off in the evening but it's really, really nice. Um, no scent or anything, but it cleanses the skin really, really nicely. This is a huge size as well. This is 150 mil. Really, really like it. It's pretty gentle. Um, doesn't like sting my eyes or anything. So that's been a fab. I've been loving that. Then the two products that they've sent me are part of their vitamin C range. So vitamin C is a great product for uneven skin tone, um, signs of aging and dullness. Um, I am 28 going on 29. Um, I am starting to get the classic kind of like dullness around the eyes. It is what it is. Um, that this is your um, thinnest, finest skin um, on your whole body, apparently. So um, that's why you do get that like dullness, um, but also just like general, just want a bit of like life back to the skin. So they sent me the vitamin C suspension, 23% and HA spheres, 2% in a stable solution well thank god it's stable i believe this one is the most powerful out of the two um this one i haven't used this one yet this one says that you can get a tingling sensation and i would recommend doing a patch test with both as these are both quite strong um and this one is the ascorbial glucoside solution a brightening serum with stabilized vitamin c derivative and that comes in a little dropper bottle so i'm going to put some of this on today along with their moisturizer i had this this is one of the first products i ever bought from um the ordinary when they first launched in the uk what six years ago it's a fab moisturizer and um, this is the serum by the way this it's you know completely colorless um it feels really nice and it's great under other products so i put this on cleanse the skin first and they say to use this morning and night um and then finally just going to go in with the natural moisturizing factors and ha uh this is just their kind of like classic moisturizer it's it's nice I have used, I've gone through a couple of these, I believe, in my lifetime. Um, but The Ordinary is a great brand. It's skincare without the kind of 
fragrances, fancy packaging, etc., etc., that pushes the price up. This is a really nice thick moisturizer. So if you are dry, I think you might like it because I think I might have squeezed too much out. <laughs> so obviously I've only been using the vitamin C products for a little while, but um I've used the ordinary for for a long time. So highly recommend the brand if you have never tried it before. I'll leave um, the website linked down below. You can read a lot more information about what ingredients you need, how to use things, potency, stuff like that. Um, there's definitely, I would recommend getting the lighter version of things um, to try a active ingredient out on your skin first. Um, but they go through all of that on the website. So do check out the website down below if you're interested. It's very, very educational. Lots of information. I'm not a skincare expert. Just saying that right here, right now. So if you want any advice, definitely check the website out down below. But a huge thank you to The Ordinary for sending those goodies over. Um, yeah, love the brand for ages. And stuff like their cleansers, their um, glycolic acid toner, uh, the moisturisers, they're all classic staples and it's really exciting to try the vitamin C stuff. So now onto the e.l.f. makeup, what you came here to see. Um, so I'm quickly going to do my brows with the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Uh, when I didn't get my brows tinted, I would go through these like the clappers. They are one of the cheapest products they do and they are great. Don't spend your don't spend loads of money on brow products. You go through them. Um, and this is just as good as an ABH. It is a little bit on the thicker side. But you can make it work. I've made it work, so you can do it too. Uh, my brows have still got tint on, so I'm just going to do a little, a light application uh, and I'll meet you back in a sec. So guys, here are the brows done and I have primed and prepped my eyes for the eye product we're going to use. Um, I just popped on a bit of, ha, <laughs> need to definitely get any one of these. The Maybelline City Bronzer in my crease is a matte kind of transition shade this is a great bronzer you can pick up um at the drug store um so weird to say drug that is such an american influencer word that has like influenced us in the uk because we don't call them drug stores we i guess the closest word would be like pharmacy but we would normally just say like boots super drug um but anyway so i have popped that in the crease now I will say the little, what was it, is it quints or quads or, there's four shadow, shadows. I really like them. I just never used them. I love the rose water one. I'll pop a picture on the screen. Screen, screen. And um, it was, I think it was called Cookies and Cream, but I have actually given them to my sister-in-law. They are really great eyeshadows for the price. I believe they're three or four pounds. And again, you can get them on, on a free for two, even better value. Um, so I don't have them with me today, but I do have these. Um, these are the do, 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 liquid glitter eyeshadows. Now I've got one without a label at all. <laughs> this is called Dirty Martini and it's a really beautiful green bronze very unique colour. Um, but I want I, I I do like a light eye. So I am going to go in this one. This one's got the most beautiful glitters and shimmers in it. And this one's called Flirty Birdie. So these are a lot like the Stila, um, let's do a classic YouTube, Stila glitter eyeshadows. All of mine have dried out from like 2017. So these are a great alternative um, if you want the same look, but you don't want to repurchase or you want to give them a go. Um, but I'm going to pop it on my eyelid. It's this one is so glittery and so gorgeous, guys. The, um, what would you call it? The dimension, the glitter dimension. There's different sized particles um, and different colours. So you've got this kind of rose gold base, but then you've got some silver reflex in there, which are really pretty. So all I'm doing is I'm patting the product on and then kind of blending it up a little bit with the paddle to kind of try and blend it in the best I can with the bronzer that we put down. Can you see that? It's just really, really pretty and shimmery. 
very very easy um i'm gonna dip in again and do the other eye i wish you could see how it looks in person this is i think one of the most beautiful shades they sell with these glitter shadows it looks like something maybe charlotte tilbury would sell um it's a great sophisticated uh makeup product and it's a beautiful neutral as well so i know a lot of you guys will like it but yes absolutely stunning super super simple if you're not good with um powder shadows if eyeshadows kind of scare you a little bit this is a really simple way to do a really pretty elegant um, eye look with literally two products your matte proud powder bronzer and this um and it just looks so pretty and you could wear it for so many occasions so i absolutely love this again this is in flirty birdie and it's their liquid glitter they've also come out with some metallic shades and they do loads of colors as well so absolutely love this i've also got a massive i had a free drink today at starbucks so i got a white mocha blended aka frappuccino with hazelnut syrup it's meant to be like a kinder burno frappuccino and it's really good i wanted to get my money's worth from a free drink so i got a huge one <laughs> let me know your starbucks order down below if you've got any hacks so concealer wise i haven't used this concealer in years and years and years um, this used to be one of my go-to concealers when I was a little bit younger, a less, few less under eye um, wrinkles. Now they do do a, let me see if I've got it. I think I might have got rid of it. They do a hydrating version. However, the shades skew for whatever reason, darker and oranger. So the lightest shade is too dark for me, um, which is so unfortunate because I love the formula. Um, but this is the Camo Concealer. It is a Tarte Shape Tape dupe. And I got this in the lighter shade, which is Fair Beige. It's incredibly light, but it is incredibly full coverage. Um, I'm just going to take it on my brush. Now, this is a technique from Selena Gomez's makeup artist. Use a brush rather than a um, sponge. And then you take a little bit of the concealer off the paddle so you're not overwhelmed because the biggest problem that people um, come up with is over applying concealer because these doe foots have so much product on them so we're just going to use a really small amount see how much coverage that's giving us um, it's incredibly high coverage um, but this is a matte formula so just bear that in mind um, i'm going to put a little bit more on for down here but if you want full coverage um, and you don't have under eye lines or you don't mind them <laughs> uh, then this is a an amazing concealer as you can tell the difference look at the difference um but this is a rare beauty concealer brush i believe it's about 16 pound maybe i will link this down below because brushes are worth investment i use this every single day and you know as long as you kind of look after it keep it clean and whatever store it well uh then it will last you years i've had brushes for literally probably a decade and you just wash them and they're fine um so i'm gonna do the other eye but yeah the definitely the technique with using less really does um help with this concealer because otherwise it can get super super cakey uh, because it is so full coverage so it's a really fantastic tip um but yeah now i'm doing this tip with it i'm actually quite quite liking the look of the the concealer um and i feel like i have to say this in every video but i don't wear foundation um ever since i got glasses i just completely fell out of love with foundation so i do like to put a bit on my nose because i do have a very red nose this is a very it looks quite stark but once you've put all your bronzer blush highlight etc it doesn't look as like patchy if you know what i mean like because obviously i've got no coverage up here or up here um but i do obviously put coverage 
um, where I have any little kind of like blemishes or anything as well. I normally use my NARS concealer, but this is so high coverage um, that I'm actually just going to use this. <laughs> uh, but I do love my NARS, but not as affordable. Uh, but this honestly is one of the best concealers uh, shade range wise um as well and obviously if you are <laughs> if probably like the 99 percent rest of the country if you have a deeper complexion than me <laughs> the hydrating concealer will probably work really well on you now because this is a matte concealer you might be able to get away with actually not setting it but i do want to share with you guys my fav one of my favorite products of elf and um i think this is my third um package of this i love this setting powder this is the elf halo glow setting powder now not only is it a really good affordable loose setting powder which are there's not many to pick from in the drugstore but the packaging is awesome it is brilliant for travel and i travel a lot um so it is just a little twisty twisty thing it's perfect and it's eight quid and it comes also in i think three different shades you've got uh light medium and, and deep which is awesome um i obviously have the light um i'm not going to take too much though because it is a matte concealer so i'm really 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 tapping that off you just want a tiny set this powder is so finely milled and it has a very 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 slight luminosity um it's not like a highlighter or anything but there is just a little a little luminosity to it as well which is really nice now on to some new products to me i bought lots of their putty things um so we've got two of the luminous putty bronzers one in vacay mood and one in summer fridays now one is a contour and one is a bronze um i am not much of a contour girl um i like the look of bronzer on me um i think it suits my complexion a bit more than um the cool kind of almost gray tone of a contour um but let's show you both so they both come in these really cute little simple like jar packaging i will say they are a little bit small to get your brush in this is the gray uh luminous i have i have also opened these before if you see any swatches it's from me and this is the summer fridays which is the more bronzy shade so those are the two shades we've got um what was it vacay mood which is the cooler and we've got summer fridays which is the more bronzy but i am going to try the uh the more the more cool tone today let's let's try something new but they are they're not like super super creamy um but i have not tried them yet so i am excited to do so so let me just get my brush that i use for cream contour i use a slightly denser like thinner as well so it is good for getting that kind of but i am gonna have to like push the brush together that is actually a really nice shade mm. it is a little bit fussy though um i know they sell a brush but the super drug i went into was a smaller super drug so um they didn't have the brush because I, I i wanted to pick that up because i know it it fits the jars um, but this is actually really, really nice. Now, luminous, it's not like you're putting on like a metallic bronzer. But if you like a more dewy look, I think this will work out really, really nice. Um, it's definitely buildable as well. We love a buildable moment. Um, this was £7, I think. Um, and I actually really, really like it. Um, they've got a really nice shade range as well. So if you want something a bit more bronzy, um, then they do have that. But I do think this is actually quite a nice shade as well. It's not too, too cool. I also picked up a blush. This is in the shade Maui. And this is a luminous um, putty blush as well. Um, I have had uh, one of these. I don't know if I've got it anymore. 
I do try and go through my products as much as possible so I don't have any uh, products that are just kind of sitting around. So I think my mum, my mum really likes the matte ones. Um, so I gave her my uh, my shade. Uh, but I'm a luminous girl. I like a bit of dew. And I like this colour. It was like a rosy gold. However, when I first swatched it, it's not giving me the most. Oh, it is now. Well, now it's giving me the most. But that was a that was a big swirly. So we'll have to see. It's a very, very pretty shade. It's reminding me a lot of that pink, pink gasm from Charlotte Tilbury that everyone loves um in those tubes oh very pigmented and there was me saying it wasn't very pigmented maybe it had a slight layer wow it looks <laughs> i will say the ring lights and stuff always make the blush look way more blushier uh on camera <laughs> it does in real life this i think there may be a slight layer over the product before you kind of um get through to the actual consistency really really gorgeous uh they, again they had loads of other shades of this but um yeah this one i just thought would suit me the most a lot of quite deep shades i will say but that was really easy to apply i would just use a slightly like denser blush brush this is an this is a bo3 from real techniques i don't think they make those brushes anymore which is a shame i loved them um but yeah that is the putty products and i really really like them um i'm just gonna pop on a bit of this cream highlight from primark i don't have um an elf um highlight I'm wondering if they're going to come out with, um, I wonder if they're going to come out with a putty highlight. Um, cause I feel like cream highlights are becoming more popular as well. Like with the rose ink ones, they're really nice. So that's all of the base products done. And I just added a little inner corner highlight. You can use any, um highlighting powder you have or eyeshadow um so the next this product i'm so excited to try this is the dewy coconut setting mist um i just love the package really nice i love the nyx dewy setting mist um, but i'm always up for trying a new product um the mist gorgeous the coconut smells like if you remember like jelly belly jelly beans and the like toasted coconut jelly bean it smells like that tastes it's a really toasty yummy flavor <laughs> i like to apply setting mist before i do mascara because i think a setting mist can interfere with a mascara this is the lash and roll mascara uh, which is the benefit roller lash dupe um, i believe this is new however i just want to premise that the roller lash is not my favorite mascara it actually hurts my lashes so curious to see if this does the same um my favorite benefit mascara is the bad gal bang so can they please do a bad gal bang <laughs> dupe because that mascara is so good um so i'm just gonna curl my lashes and then we'll give this mascara a go do 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 it does look an awful lot like the roller lash. <laughs> I already have quite curly lashes. So the roller lash might not be, or the, what is it called? Rock and roll or rock and curl. I, I feel like I'm, it takes a lot of time to, to build, to build any, just making sure I got it the right way around. But it's kind of doing what roller lash does. Um, I like, length i like big bambi lashes so this one's probably not for me i have tried the big ego mascara as well and that one wasn't for me either i'm not like excited to use it again it's okay i prefer god this is a bad recommendation um but i prefer i'm just using my little tester of the valentino mascara i prefer this mascara i prefer brushes like this more like um real bristle 
big fat thick brushes so I don't think this one is for me um but that's okay not every mascara it's a very personal thing um but that's that all good all good in the hood it's not awful <laughs> um and then finally we've got a lip product here this is the glossy lip stain in basic beige which sounds right up my street um this reminds me the packaging and the vibe reminds me of the ysl glossy lip stains it's giving a budget version of that i really want to try the o face lip sticks but they didn't have them and also the elf website where are the offers like if if um super are doing three for two then so the elf website you get all the new products but you don't get the good deals so anyway this is what this looks like definitely got like a pink undertone to the beige and i'm guessing that's the tint element and that's really nice actually i really like that so here is the final look um i don't think you would be able to tell that i've used elf products i think the look is fantastic um i will say one of my favorite products that i tried that was new uh definitely the putty uh bronzer in vacay mood love that as well as the blush but also um loved the the lip tint um love this setting spray but obviously uh we'll have to see how that actually lasts in the long term uh, but i hope you found this video helpful and hopefully it shows you that you can achieve beautiful makeup looks even if you are on a budget or you don't want to spend that high-end money totally get it and i think you can achieve really beautiful looks without splashing the cash i will try and link everything um down below if you fancy picking anything up um, if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe if you've got this far you might as well um give this video a big thumbs up and let me know your favorite elf products down below i would love to know if you've got any recommendations as well and i will catch you in the next one bye